Welcome to this beginner battle grip flow tutorial featuring the Cranes Dance. Battle grip is one of the most engaging and challenging ways that we can use the mace in workouts, but it requires specific technique to make it effective. We're going to be covering this technique along with strikes, swings, and switches in three different levels in the Cranes Dance. So grab your mace and let's get flowing. Level one of the Cranes Dance is very simple. It is simply going to be alternating strikes in battle grip, switching sides on every repetition. And while that's simple, there are three parts of it. We have the strike, the switch, and the footwork. And so I'm gonna hack into those right now. So you can actually join me holding your grip like so, one hand bottom of the mace, one hand about center grip, top of the knurling, and from here, you can just practice the strike and you can simply drop it down like so. And you can practice this movement several times. And what you'll notice is that it is a very hard movement if you do not use the tail of the mace. This is the key to battle grip. This is the simple technique that is so essential. You have to have the hand near the head of the mace in a stable position because it's the fulcrum and the mace is the lever. And the tail hand simply helps you to control that. So as long as you have a stable fulcrum, you have a lot of control over the mace. And that's the key to making nice, powerful strikes that stop in a specific point and they feel controlled throughout. So that's our strike. Now the second piece is gonna be the switch. And that also comes down to how we control the tail of the mace. So at the bottom of a strike, I'll simply be pushing down on the tail of the mace so that the head of the mace becomes vertical, and then I'll make prayer hands top of the mace, switch and strike down. And this is our basic switch. We simply push down on the tail of the mace so that the head becomes vertical, and then we're able to switch sides. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in the level one of the Cranes Dance. So that was two pieces, and now we have the third. The last piece of this level one is the footwork. And you'll notice that I went from facing one direction to stepping back and out into a lateral lunge to pushing back to the original direction and alternating to the other side. And so the one key with this is that when I face forward, my hips and my shoulders are square with the same direction. And when I strike, they turn 90 degrees but are still square the same direction. And those are the keys. So now that you know how to strike, how to switch, and how to do the footwork, let's do this full level one. So you can join me here. I'm going to bring both hands to the bottom of the mace. And you can bring, in this case, I'm gonna bring my right hand to the top of the mace, my opposite leg steps back. So right hand is high, left leg steps back into that lateral lunge and strike. From there, push down on the tail, pushing off that bent leg back up through center, prayer hand center of the mace. And then now left hand is high, so right leg steps back. And then push down on the tail and switch and strike. Switch and strike. Switch and strike. Switch and strike. And you can simply continue at your own rhythm shh, through this level one. Shh. The goal is to make it fluid and smooth. I wanna make sure I have a very strong, powerful downstrike on every single repetition. And I want to make sure that I'm switching my hands when I'm in that center position and that I don't step back until I'm ready to strike. Shh. And that is how you master the level one of the Cranes Dance. Once you've got this down, you're ready for level two. Level two of the Cranes Dance kicks up the difficulty quite a bit because we are going to be adding in more steps. Now the strikes and the switches are going to remain the same, but this time we are going to be adding in that additional step and we're also going to be adding in a balance component. And so I'm going to demonstrate the full level two right now and then I'll guide us through it in a very easy way. So to demonstrate, have that hand coming up into center grip or battle grip. Opposite leg to the high hand steps back, strike. From here, push down on the tail, push up onto one leg, 
And you can either hold the mace here nice and strong if you want to work on your balance in this way, or you can extend the mace all the way out to the side, like so. Want to make sure that I have a lot of shoulder stability here. Bring the mace in, re-grip at the bottom, step out and strike. And then from here, we're just gonna switch to the other side. So, it's a little more tricky than the other, um, than the level one. I'm gonna push off that bent leg, push down on the tail. Again, you can see I have my switch, prayer hand center of the mace, and I'm standing in the middle. This time, left hand is gonna be at the top, so my right leg is back. And then from there, push down on the tail and up, extend out, down. And then push down on the tail, switch in the middle, and step back. And so this is the level one. Nice and simple. We're just going to be adding in that extra step and this balance component. And so now you can join me and we'll do it together. So you can come up to warrior stance, both hands bottom of the mace. And from this, this posture, I'm gonna bring my right hand to center grip, left leg steps back, strike. From here, I am going to push down through the tail, push up onto one leg, and extend the right arm out. Bring the mace back in, reconnect, step down, and strike. From here, push off the bent leg, push down through the tail, switch, right leg back. Push up. On that one leg, extend the mace out. Bring it in, step down. From here, you can push down through the tail, switch in the middle, left leg back. Push up, extend the mace out. Bring it in, step down. Push off the bent leg, switch in the middle, right leg back. Push the mace up, extend. Drop it down, and you can push back to warrior stance. And that is the level two of the crane's dance. Very well done. Once you've got this down, once it's smooth and you feel in control and you can push up into balance and step out from that balanced position, then you're ready for level three. Level three of the crane's dance is going to include a movement called the drop shield, which begins in battle grip and includes a swing. And what it looks like from the back is I'm going to be beginning in this guard position, dropping the mace down, allowing it to slowly come vertical, and then I'll pull the handle down and push the head of the mace out. And so we're still using the same principle with battle grip. I want to be controlling a stable fulcrum and be manipulating the tail of the mace to adjust the angle. And so in that drop shield, you can see that I finished in this angle and you can adjust it based on what you prefer. So first I'm gonna teach you how to do this drop shield and then we are going to integrate it into the rest of the crane's dance. And so to learn it, you can join me here in warrior stance, I'll face away once more. And I'm going to bring my right hand to center grip, opposite leg, my left leg steps out, strike. And from here, I'm going to curl the mace up so it's parallel to the ground. It should be nice and controlled. Again, stable fulcrum, stable tail end. And from here, I'm going to pivot from lateral lunge into front lunge as I drop the mace vertical and pivot into that front lunge, pull the tail down, push the head out. That's all that it really is. You can do it nice and slowly. And then you can strike down after your drop shield. And again, I'm gonna curl the mace up, drop it behind the shoulder, mace goes vertical, pull down, push out, and down. Bring the mace up, drop it vertical behind the shoulder, pivot, pull down, push out. Strike down, and then you can switch to the other side, pushing the tail down and switching into down strike on the other side, and we'll repeat. So curl the mace up, nice and controlled, let the head drop down, pivot, pull down, push out. Back to the front. Curl. Let the mace fall, pull down, push out. Strike. One more, curling the mace up, dropping the head down, pivot, pull down, push out. You can finish by pushing back to your warrior stance. And so that is our drop shield. 
it's actually not that tricky of a movement once you get the hang of it. And the way to get the hang of it is to go slow first, and then once you have it kind of mapped out, you can allow it to speed up. And what I mean by that is that you can allow the momentum of the mace to carry itself through that drop shield. And that's how you make it more fun and more powerful. And one more final note on this movement, and this is one of the reasons that everyone should learn this movement, is that it is essentially a two-handed mill. In a regular mill, we have one hand on the mace, swinging it around our body like so. In this case, we have both hands on the mace, and I'm able to go through the same pattern with both hands so I have more control, and all I have to do is pivot. So drop shield is an excellent movement, and I highly recommend training that one on its own. But to finish off our level three, we are going to perform the drop shield in conjunction with the rest of the crane's dance. And so to do so, I'm gonna demonstrate real quick and then you can join me. To demo, one hand center grip, opposite leg back. Pushing up into that balanced position, extending the mace out, down. Here's the drop shield. Curl up, drop behind, drop shield and then switch to the other side. Shh. 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 And that is the crane's dance. So now let's do it together, you can join me. You can come into warrior stance, both hands bottom of the mace, right hand comes up to center grip, left leg steps back, strike. Shh. From this posture, push down on the tail, pushing up, Extend the mace out. Bring the mace in, reconnect and strike. Shh. Next, the drop shield. So curl, drop it vertical, pivot. Shh. Pull down and push out into the drop shield. Bring the mace back in and strike. Shh. Next, we'll switch to the other side. So push off the bent leg, push down on the tail, prayer hands in the middle, step back with the right leg Shh. and strike. Push up, extend out. Drop down, shh. Next is the drop shield, curl it up. Drop behind, shh, and strike. Strike once more, shh. And we'll switch to the other side, one more round, pushing down on the tail, prayer hand, center of the mace, left leg back, shh. Pushing up, extending out, down, shh. Next, the drop shield, so curl, drop behind, drop shield, shh. Strike, shh. One more, we're gonna switch, so push down on the tail, right leg back, shh. Push up to balance, extend the arm out, drop it down, shh. Curl the mace, drop behind, pull down, push out, shh. Strike, shh. And from there, you can push back to your warrior stance and take a rest. Very nicely done. That is the final Crane's Dance flow. We got strikes, switches, and swings, all in that battle grip. Hope you had a blast with it. And if you'd like to get more out of your steel mace in your workouts, I have a free 57 page ebook covering everything you need to know in only 14 days. It's totally free and the link is in the description down below. With that, thank you for watching and may the mace be with you.